get, get on, go on, get, get, get. Go on, girl. Go on. Where's them bad rabbits? Go on. Where's the bad rabbit? Where's the bad rabbits? The bad deers. <laughs> Sometimes I say one thing and do another. <laughs> that might be what happens today. Uh, the last video I said I had a plan. I was going to take care of the, tra the van transmission and sell the motor. You know, it's going to do all that, you know, and, and put the car shopping off till later. Now, I might go get a car today. There's one I've been looking at and kind of scratching my head about. And here's where there's the indec indecisiveness is I've basically lived debt free for five or six years now. Uh, yeah, no payments, to, yeah, no bank payments, sending all my money. I used to quite a bit. Yeah, I had a nice new expensive truck and an expensive motorcycle and uh, some other toys. And uh, paid all that stuff off or sold it and I just got no payments. Debt free. No credit card bills, <laughs> nothing. Um, so it's like, oh, do I want to get go back there and take on debt? And the, the thing is, I'm I can. It's just a big decision to like, <laughs> where does it end? You know, if I fall back into that type of uh, buying and spending habit. Um, uh, thing is, the car I'm looking at. It's not terribly expensive. You know, I have most of the money, actually. I don't have to borrow a lot. And I'm twisting my own arm. Should I just do it? I don't have to borrow that much money. I'm actually taking the money out of my line of credit when I don't have. You know, I sold the Maverick. I've uh, kind of been doing some well, yard sale type stuff. <laughs> but selling online. I've, so I've raised a little bit more cash. And uh, I do have, you know, about two-thirds of the money. Um... I could go grab another little chunk uh, from the, my, the credit union out of my line of credit, and then I'll have to make payments on that. And it's just not a terribly large amount at, at, at all. Uh, <laughs> about, about, probably about $3,000, $3,500. You know, that's not a ton of money, right? And the, uh, the monthly payment on that back is not going to be a... It's just the idea of debt having a chunk to, another chunk to have to pay down um <laughs> anyway uh i have a ride coming <laughs> so i'm gonna at least go look at the car today uh, i've seen it online for about a week now and I, I actually called down there late last week it's a good fit it's a it's not too old it's a 2016 and it only has 60,000 miles on it and these cars are um it's a little hatchback so I, I've been, uh, that's what I wanted, either a little hatchback or a, uh, a small SUV or crossover. I've been kind of leaning towards the Ford uh, Escape, okay? Uh, but uh, a little hatchback would work too. They're, they're kind of nice and really in really good mi uh, gas mileage. So uh, I have 60,000 miles on this car. Or 62,000 uh, these cars are known to you know get up to 200,000 miles uh, you know if cared for decently and not abused so uh, the car looks really clean let's, let's, let's get in all that <laughs> it was a toss-up what I was gonna do today I was gonna wash the van you know the van's filthy okay okay <laughs> It's easy. I did that one the other day. Yeah, I was gonna wash the van and maybe go drop it off. See uh, uh, when the transmission shop can take it. I still might do that later today. Uh, enough. And I thought, well, maybe I should wash the motorcycle. While the uh, washing stuff's out is I uh, wash the motorcycle, get it scrubbed up because I am going to sell it. And the thing is, what I get out of the motorcycle should more than cover what I got to um, borrow to uh, buy the car. So actually, yeah, I'm going to grab some money today, but, you know, probably in a week or two or, or whatever when this sells, uh, that money will all go back and I, I'll still be debt free. 
it basically will cost me the Maverick and the motorcycle to get the <laughs> to get the uh, uh, the new car. All right. So I'll be debt free again anyway. It's just one of them things I gotta. You know. <laughs> Uh, you know what else was maybe on the agenda today too was I got some batteries back here that need probably need service. There's an issue going on. I got two extra batteries back there. They're the old lead acid ones. I think one one of them or both of them is starting to fail. They're they're kind of at the end of their life cycle. Uh, so I need to pull them out of there and see what's going on. Uh, other than that, what we're gonna do? Probably fire this thing up. I haven't uh, I haven't started it in a while. And uh, this generator too. Uh, yeah, I think my ride's not going to be here for half an hour. So <laughs> I haven't started this up in a while. Uh, probably since we got back to Pennsylvania, it's probably been what, what have we been back about two months already. Got to turn the fuel on. You know, just for uh, should run them regularly. Let's turn the uh, power on. Oh, it made a noise uh what else we need to do oh let's do it this way let's get the remote all right let's get this thing and then now uh, what we'll do is then we're gonna fire the coach up and uh, let it run for a few minutes too uh, i wonder how stubborn it's gonna be but uh this has this uh reason i wanted to do the remote is if i do it here manually then i gotta mess with the choke and uh you know uh, this does it all automatically and it does the thing where uh, if it doesn't start first time it pauses for like five seconds then it tries again if it still doesn't start another five seconds then it tries again meanwhile all automatically work in the choke on off on off so it doesn't flood itself it's all like programmed it's a pretty cool thing let's see if there's any uh how the battery is too Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait for the second time. It didn't even try to fire. Come on. Oh, even second time. Come on. <laughs> this is why you should run them regularly. The longer they sit, the more stubborn they get. Come on. There we go. Alright. We're gonna let that run for uh you know a short while. Alright, we come back out here and uh shut this back off. Oops, did we hit the right one? Turn the power back off. Turn the fuel back off. We might run it again uh, after a while. Hey, what are you doing up here? <laughs> Alright, we're going to see if the coachman will fire up too. Just a minute. Alright, had to free up my seat. Uh, Alright, now I know, uh, and some of you know, how these old uh, carbureted things are. Let's start procedure. Uh, you know, once they've been sitting for a while, I think the gas actually evaporates out of the carburetor. Uh, so it's not going to have fuel right away. And it doesn't have an electric fuel pump, so it's not like it's going to put it back right away either. Um, so it's going to be by cranking it over a little bit at first. It's a manual thing. Got to crank it and crank it and crank it. And, you know, for you know, five or ten seconds just to get fuel up there. And um, we'll, we'll pause a second and then try it a second time. And then it should, uh, yeah, it should cooperate. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, hopefully that's enough to have gotten fuel up there. And then the old carburetors go pump them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> she needs a good drink. It's a big engine. I can hear that exhaust leak. Uh, 
L1 exhaust manifold on the passenger side. I'll have to get to that job pretty soon. The uh, I have all the parts. I have a brand new manifold, brand new gasket. We'll let this warm up a bit. Now, oh, coachman still has a half tank. Yeah, up to 67,000 miles. I think when I bought it, it had 50, 59,000 on it. Now we're up to 67. We put some miles on it over the winter, traveling out to the southwest. Ready to idle on her own. All right, it's all dusty. <laughs> all right, everything's sounding normal back here, except when you come up here. Huh? There, there's that exhaust leak. We'll get to that job. I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> uh, we need to take the coachman for a ride here pretty soon anyway. Time to get it out of here. Uh, and, uh, go, go dump tanks and you know, that sort of thing. I'll take it for a little outing. <laughs> yeah. All right, I want to show you something here real quick. Uh, my ride will be here pretty soon. We're going to go down and see if this car checks out. But what is, uh, there's the car. It's a, uh, 2016 Ford Fiesta. And what's nice here, especially about this, uh, this dealer, it's a, it's a used car dealer. Uh, but they have a nice website with lots of information on here. You can go here and click on the show me the Carfax report. Um, uh, and, and, um, everything checks in green, green check. There's been no, uh, no losses, no crashes, uh, no structural damage, no airbags deployed, uh, yeah, no accident damage, so no recalls. And uh, oops, let me get back up the top here. It's had three owners. Uh, yeah, first owner put about forty thousand on it. Second owner put about you know, another ten or so, and a third owner about that much more. So uh, not quite sixty-two thousand miles on it. You know, divided by three owners, that's you know, an average of. They've each owned it about two years and about 20,000 uh, miles uh, per owner. Uh, but yeah, all the inspections and oil changes, uh, new tires, you know, they're all from uh, a service at Ford dealers. Uh, John McKean Ford, Davies Ford, yeah, Mount Pleasant, PA, Connellsville, PA. Um, so it looks like it's all had regular oil changes, uh, and it shows, too, what... You know, the oil was changed at, uh, you know, 5,000 miles. And the oil was changed again at uh, 10,000 miles. So, you know, about every 5,000 miles, the oil has been changed on it. So, uh, if it was well cared for. Uh, and the other thing over here uh, they showed was, uh, if you want to view the original window sticker, which is really nice, uh, you know, modern times here. That stuff's all digitized. So, we can go there and, and show what the... Uh, uh you know the interior package uh what all all the specifics of what the car was all equipped with originally you know the information that might lack on the original uh the deal back on the dealer's website but it shows us all um you know the exterior interior uh functional I mean, you know a bunch of stuff uh how the car is actually equipped and the original price is uh was 17275 Looks like there was a little discount going on there. Uh, car sold for sixteen seven eighty five. So you know, thirty one miles per gallon average. So uh, twenty eight miles per gallon in the city, thirty six on the highway. And I'm pretty sure you know, and it has a manual transmission, which I am all okay with. Uh, well, what else? Um, yeah, it's, we're gonna have to go down. And uh, give it a good looking over. Uh, my main concern at this point, if everything else checks out, is looking underneath the car. In this part of the country, there's a lot of uh, you know road road salt in the winter, so it's going to depend a lot on the previous owners how much they drove it in the winter. Some cars that are driven, man, a lot of salt under them. They get they don't take too long, and it starts um, taking its toll on it. 
but the car being in 2016 it hasn't you know hasn't been around all that long and depending on the previous owners if uh uh maybe had a second car some people have winter beaters you know they leave their nice car garaged most of the time or just in the driveway and they'll use their uh their beater car in the winter time and let it get exposed to salt so uh or you never know somebody might have owned it that was a retiree and didn't uh yeah didn't do the monday through friday all all through the winter and get all that daily salt on it uh, uh you know after a snowstorm so we'll see hopefully the bottom is still pretty clean like really clean uh if that everything checks out i just might come home with that car today <laughs> hmm. and i'm gonna give something away i already gave one thing away yes i've been selling some stuff but uh something in here too oh that's uh bellows there's something i have uh i need to list for sale it's all collapsed right now that was a a dog stroller uh slash trailer that uh i just got a list uh, online and sell it that didn't that didn't work out like i thought it would um i'm gonna give this away uh to my youngest son it's a uh, rock pals 300 watt one of them power things I'll give that to him and uh also the solar panel that goes well, I know it's dark and the solar panel that goes with it uh, all right that and that and now the cables and everything are in this this here all right and uh because he's on the road all day door dashing uh which i might get into as well uh, for some supplemental income uh coincidentally he also has a ford fiesta <laughs> uh i might hook him up too with a little 12 volt cooler so i'm working with the company right now to maybe get one of them promo ones to do a review on uh yeah he's on the road all day and you know when you stop in gas stations and get something cold to drink you know those uh, gas station drinks aren't cheap <laughs> but it's nice to have something cold uh, so he has a little power thing and a little one of them small not the big ones like i've, I've had um uh, uh, a little smaller one he can keep cold drinks and you know some food or whatever in it lunch stuff and be more economical for him i'm gonna hook him up with that because i have plenty of <laughs> i have no shortage of portable power things and um and solar and the, you know I, I have stuff i don't need so I, I can afford to help him out and i gave another set it's actually the bigger better set um to my oldest son i give the jackery set to my oldest son but he has a family of three <laughs> so uh it's basically 300 watts per uh 300 watts ahead okay my youngest boy is single he gets 300 watts and the, uh, the Jackery's a thousand watts, so it's uh, him, his wife, the baby, my granddaughter. That's three, six, nine, roughly, roughly 300 watts ahead. So, so the bigger one for the family, the smaller one for the single, for the single fella. The trouble is, <laughs> the trouble is, I already told my youngest son I'd hook him up with some stuff um, before. I decided to, you know, maybe get a car and, and do some door dashing as well. So uh, I do have another power thing uh, that I can use, but I need a second refrigerator now, I think, for my car. If I'm out and down towards the city or wherever out and about door dashing, and I want some cold drinks and stuff in my car. Um, though he's here. There's his Ford Fiesta. It's a 2011. Uh, I'm going to, I need to. <laughs> I wish I wouldn't have told him I was going to give him that cooler that's coming. Let's see if I can make a deal on a second one for myself. I'll get it all sorted out. I'll hook everybody up, including myself. <gasps> Who's here? John. John's here. You better go see. John. John's here. <laughs> well, here it is. It's got some road dirt on it. It is right along the. Uh, it is right along the road. So. Got some dirt kicked up on it. Needs a fresh bath. And initially just looking over for any 
scratches and nothing showed had pretty good pictures of it sometimes it's just spot stuff in person that you don't see in pictures but that's uh that's pretty good all right i'm gonna take a few minutes and have a look around at this car well i'm buying it we're just up the street the guy's gonna need a half an hour to get all the forms ready all the paperwork and stuff we're up here we're gonna have some lunch uh, get the chance to do all that uh looks like i'm going home with a 2016 Ford Fiesta. <laughs> okay, he's gonna put gas in it too for me. Gonna fill it up, part of the deal. We'll be on our way pretty soon. He said while we wait, he says there's a couple places here right around the corner, up this corner, down the other corner. There's places to eat around here if you want to go. So we did. This place looked like it had a good menu, so just a little place. Some outdoor seating here. Okay. Okay. I did it. I did a thing. <laughs> I now own a 2016 Ford Fiesta. Four door hatchback. Five speed manual transmission. It's a nice little car. I like it. All right. I, you know, I talked the guy down a good bit. In the end, uh, I did pretty okay on the car, actually. So I'm, I'm happy about the deal. Uh, it needs a bath. It's 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 dirty. Because if the dust layers of dust off of it and the bird poop, I'm sure it's going to clean up like really nice. I'm certain of that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see soon enough. Look at all them controls. You got the air conditioner on low. It's comfortable in here. It's a nice little car. Uh, yeah. I like it. Watch out, coming through there, Mr. Pepsi. <laughs> All right, we're gonna wheel her into the car wash here real quick, and I'm not gonna do a super uh, job right now. Just to pull it in real quick, spray the heavy stuff off, and uh, I might give it a good hand washing tomorrow back at the garage. Let's see. It's a little car, it'd be easy to wash, it won't take long. But we're doing really good miles per gallon wise. I love these modern cars that have the real time uh, fuel consumption uh, as you drive and and to keeps track of the average, which you can reset those, in which I did. We started out, it had a full tank and everything. And, uh, 300 feet, turn left onto Pennsylvania 56 West. So I reset it. Turn left onto Pennsylvania 56 West. And we're averaging 34 miles to a gallon. Now, the rating is higher for highway trips, and most of this has been, we did some in-town driving, getting out of there, and then some on some secondary roads. I wouldn't even consider the secondary roads, you know, highway miles. So it's rated at like 38 highway. Um, we're doing... Continue on Pennsylvania 56 West for three quarters of a mile. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. 34 miles a gallon. <laughs> We're here at the Kiski Car Wash. Just up on Leechburg Hill. I think this guy and the Chevy Silverado is done. This Kiski Car Wash. As car washes go in the area, this has some of the very best pressure. Take the next left toward South Leechburg Hill Road, uh, right. then make a U-turn. At the GPS, we're going to take a break for a minute, okay? All right, girl. All right, I might actually run the foaming brush. Uh, spray it off and run the foaming brush on it. Here, uh, here's a trick. If you ever, ever use one of these while you're still spraying, always spray the heavy stuff off first, but then take the wand and really, really blast this thing out uh, thoroughly. Because, you know, people use it and they get little, little kind of grit, you know, from the lower part of their car and wheels and, you know, so they hang it up there and it's got all that stuff in it. And you don't want to take that grit and scratch it all over and scratch your car up. So you really got to blast those out really thoroughly. Uh, you want to be sure of that uh, anytime you go to use one of those. All right, I'm going to do my job here. All right. All right, it's done. Now that it's uh, the third puppet, I can actually see a couple little places where it was touched up. Must have been a little stone chip there. 
Uh, it's not that bad. I can live with that. There's another tiny little one down there. But uh, for 2016, seven year old car now, it's fun to have a couple little. I can see what it looks like. It's good at home. It can, uh, I didn't bring a towel. I'm not going to get one to towel dry it or anything. Just probably going to get it home and uh, it'll be blown dry off. Good, good enough when we get there. And uh, I bet she looks pretty sharp. So uh, let's get out of here. All right. I think it cleaned up pretty nice for a quick initial cleaning it needs detail um, the glass needs cleaned on the inside uh, it needs a proper hand washing on the outside but I think it, uh, it's a pretty nice car I, I, uh, yeah I like it <laughs> so we might get to a point where we start talking about car camping possibly car camping in a, such a little car i don't know a lot of people do it um uh, <laughs> we might do it a little bit we i'm gonna think about that <laughs> uh, yeah i'm gonna spend some more time and uh keep cleaning her up a little bit better so that's it i did it i pulled the trigger got a car uh we'll get back to it we get on with some other things here uh, as always, thanks for coming along today. We'll be back in another video soon. I'll see ya.